off to work. Let's do it. I have to be let out. Uh, let's go. Yay, work. I can't complain. So either way, good morning everybody. Welcome to the, uh, today's the 9th, I believe, of June, if I'm not completely mistaken. No, you're correct. That's what I thought. So, I'm at work for, I don't know how long today. I mean, Sarah, you're full day at work, obviously, because you're 9 to 5 every day of the week. Um, I don't know how long I'm at work today, but... I don't know. We'll see. So, my goal with work today is, uh, here, you want to hold this while yeah. so I can drive? Um, I really actually should probably have my defroster on. But uh, my goal for work today, or well, in the like actual work today, is actually really to just, uh, when I get home, I'm gonna start combing through probably, well, I guess yesterday's vlog should be on that list, and I'm gonna, I have to turn this down a tad, just like. Uh, Not scream? Yeah, I don't have the voice to scream right now. Um, so I have yesterday's vlog that I should cut because, well, last night the vlogs are up. They're a little bit late for what I usually do for, you know, my, my standard of over the week. But, uh, well, well, we'll deal with it anyway. It doesn't really matter that much. People can watch them when they want to watch them. The standard really was only in place because of L.A. time. Because 9, 9 p.m. there was like midnight over here. So it really didn't make a lot of sense if I was uploading a vlog to release it at like 10, 11 a.m. because that'd be one, two in the morning here. Doesn't make a lot of sense, but anyway. So that's, that's way off topic. The vlogs are up to date technically, except for yesterday's, so I just need to cut yesterday's. <coughs> I don't know when I'm going to be back, but if it's anything like yesterday, I was out in the field for a while yesterday and uh, we got back to the office around 1.30ish. So, if I'm back to the office around 1.30, if so I can leave around to get back here around like 3.30 or something. Which isn't awful because that'll give me a little bit of time to work, probably get the vlog and then, well really, my other main goal is of course that essay that I have to write. But in order to write that essay, I really need to comb through the book and find parts of the book that I need to quote and whatnot in the, in the paper itself. Now, I don't think I actually explained how the essay itself works, and it's not a terrible thing. It's that I have six questions on the, uh, on the exam, and I get to choose three of them, one for each book, so, you know, I can choose one of the first two, one of the second two, one of the third two, and then each of those has to be, like, one to two pages in response length, so really, probably, they need to be, like, two pages for me to get a good grade on this. So, that's how that's gonna work. And they, of course, need block quotes and things. So that'll be fun to do. Um, and I don't know if I ever mentioned this. I did not actually get a really good grade on the first one of these. Because I had to do one of these back for midterms week. And uh, for whatever reason, despite like everything else in the class coming back is like 100s or nearly 100s. I got like a 79 on the, uh, the first paper. So, not sure why that happened. But I'm going to want to do my best to, uh, to actually avoid doing that again. Because with all the other, even though the exact the paper exams are weighted very heavily, I'm actually I'm actually still in a really good position, grade wise. Still actually have a somewhat of a shot of getting an A. That's I think my goal. And you're going to be working too on your stuff tonight. Yep. Because I finally fun. finished that paper yesterday, so I get to do the fun stuff now. <coughs> Studio. Yay. And then, I don't know if we've talked about this at all. Have we actually mentioned at all what's happening this upcoming weekend? Uh, I don't think we have. I don't think we have. And uh, that's because this weekend your parents are meeting my parents for the first time. Yep. So, and also you're moving out of your dorm. Yep. That's why I was trying to do everything last weekend. Yeah, and that's quite a big pill to swallow coming up finals week, which means we've got a lot of work to do on our hands and our feet and um, every other part of our bodies. Yep. Because, you know, we've got we've to clean a little bit. We've got to get you completely moved out. And we have typical finals work on top of that. 
because especially with me working today, I don't actually know when I'm going to get more final stuff. And done. part of my finals work is building two models, which is the opposite of cleaning. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, but I don't actually know what really when I'm going to have to work on this paper, unfortunately, especially because I want to I want to keep Spyro up. So I don't know. We'll we'll have to figure it out, honestly. Wait a minute, it's Friday. It is Friday. I should not go in the other lot on Friday. Nobody ever goes in the other lot on Friday. <laughs> I must look like an idiot to everybody around. Anyway, we're finally here. Let's go to the train station. Let's get on this train. Let's uh, let's head to work. As we get ready for our second train trip of the day, and by get ready, I mean get moving on our second train trip of the day. Who's ready for their, their Knox fun factoid of today? Uh, I actually just discovered this literally like half an hour ago. Um, Cornwall Heights is actually not ADA accessible. Fun fact. A lot of separate stations that they claim ADA access accessible are. Um, don't get me wrong. But uh, Cornwall Heights is actually not because of a part of the law that I didn't actually realize is that I've shown it off on some, I think especially some very early vlogs. Cornwall Heights does have a PA system for announcements. And um, legally speaking, and a lot of other stations, like even the Croydon that we've been to, do have little screens. And legally speaking, you actually need one of those screens if you have a PA system to convey the same information for blind people. Or not blind people, for for deaf people. Blind people need the, uh, the actual announcements. Yeah, that's a, that's a little fun fact for you. Cornwall Sites is not ADA compliant. It's mostly ADA compliant and far more than most of SEPTA systems, but it's kind of ironic because actually a lot of SEPTA stations do have signage. Like the, the digital signage. But uh, not a lot actually have... Uh, what's the word for it? Have have um, ADA platforms, good lord. Anyway, if you're guessing by the fact that I'm doing this again, yes, I'm back from work. I'm heading to uh, pick up Sarah now from her work at the train station. I, got, I didn't get back that long ago. I only got back around like 3.30 or so. It's six o'clock now. It's her usual time to be picked up. Um, I haven't really <laughs> done a whole lot since I got home because I was actually really tired and I actually laid down for a bit. I didn't actually completely damn it, fall asleep. <sighs> Stupid people hadn't insist on insisted on cramming into the intersection. I would have made that light, but yeah, not the most productive day. But um, well, so far at least, you know, I did get to go to work, and that's always fun, right? Right, right. But yeah, so I'll take what I can get. I got to go to work today, and uh, that was pretty nice and fun. But yeah, I was just, I don't know what, what sparked me to read about the, the, the ADA laws, but for whatever reason, yes, I did. And uh, yeah, it's actually true. Cornwall Sites is technically not ADA accessible completely. However, of course, the majority of the law revolves around actually being able to get wheelchairs on trains. But still, I'm sure there's someone in, in the history of Cornwall Sites who's been deaf and hasn't been able to actually hear the, uh, the train station announcements. And you know, now that you've probably heard this, it does make a lot of sense why that's a requirement for the law. For, and it's for good reason, but it's just, it's just kind of funny because from most places it is not ADA accessible technically. Mostly, but not completely. Anyway, I'm going to head to the train station that I just mentioned and, uh, well, pick up my thankfully not deaf girlfriend. Well, I mean, I don't want to say it like that. That makes me sound like an asshole, but I want uh, my, uh, well, I mean, to be fair, it would be a really weird thing if a, if a sound guy was dating a deaf girl, but... You know what, that's, that's a story right there. That's a story for somebody to write. I just gave somebody gold. I just gave somebody absolutely gold. You know what, that's that's my senior project right there. Copyright and trademarked, boom, got it. Okay, anyway, I'm gonna go to the train station to get Sarah without making any more um, uh, off-color remarks about, about people who the ADA is protecting.